It's estimated that there are over 60 million rats in Britain. If you're unlucky enough to live near a property that's infested, your own home is likely to be affected too. That's exactly what's happened here in Dagenham in Essex, where council pest controller Pete has been brought in to tackle the problem. Hello, mate. Hello, pest mate. control. Yeah. All right. Pete has been battling to control an army of rats invading a resident's home from a vacant house next door. Even with his years of experience, he doesn't understand why there are so many rats. For some reason, they, they, they wanted this house. It's a clean house, it's not a dirty house. I couldn't understand why the rats are moving in here quickly. I've had 28 rats out of this property so far. Because of the rats, Roy's family's life has been ruined. The rats have literally chewed through everything. As you can see, the house is clean. We're living next door to a slum. My partner, she's off work through stress. Her daughter has literally moved out. She doesn't want to be here no more because she doesn't know what's going to come out the cupboard. Everyone has their, their castle to live in, and it's just wrong. The rats are attracted to the kitchen. They come down from the loft through the cavity walls to seek warmth and food. Pete focuses his attention on the space under the kitchen units. All my bait bags and everyone has been chewed through. As you can see, they've chewed all the bait through the bag and took the bait out. There are many possible ways to solve the problem. Pest controller Pete needs to be a bit of a detective. The reason why I've got it on string is because whatever way the string goes on all the baits, it gives me a good identification what way we're going to find the rats and where they're coming in from and where they're leaving from. For Pete, it's sometimes a case of the more, the merrier. If there's one in two rats in the house, it is a nightmare to try and catch them. Really is. But when you've got baits like this being eaten every day, and I've done 15 bags of bait in this house, and that's a lot of bait, uh, there, there's a lot of rats because they're competing for the food. So where they're competing, it's making my job easier to catch the rats because I'm poisoning them quick. Bang, bang, bang. And using traps as well. Pete is going to have to use all his experience to stay one step ahead of the rats. For Roy and his family, they must be eradicated. They're coming from a derelict house next door. As he looks under the units in the kitchen, it's Geronimo. There you go. It's one of our culprits. This rat's been caught for about an hour, hour and a half, roughly, by how soft it is. There's no rigor mortis setting. Pete has to know everything about the lifestyle of the rats. It's a case of know your enemy. This one's a male. You will hear the males rucking and fighting and scrabbling over the food. The females won't. They, they just tend to want to be in a group and eat the food together and share it. Males are sort of rucking, hear that squeaking, <coughs> sort of noise all the time. Uh, which we have heard in here when I've actually put the bait in. Pete learns from the way the rat died how it lived. When you catch them around the head like this one, it's telling me basically that there was more than one rat running along here on the food. Nine out of ten, a rat would use its towel and try and flick the bait literally off the trap. And then if it gets caught on the trap with its towel, the actual towel part, sections from roughly about here, will come apart and will actually come off. It's like a lizard when it gets caught or you pick a lizard by its tail, its tail comes off. Exactly the same with a rat. The rat does the same and that's how he gets away. Pete's won a small battle today but the war is far from over. Homeowner Roy is still upset because it wasn't his fault. You tell people, they say, oh, what's happening? Oh, we've got rats in our ass. The first thing they think is, oh, another dirty family. They don't see what we have to live with. We keep our ass tidy, we spent a lot of money doing how we want to do it, how we want to live. And through someone's negligence, our house is ruined. We, we, we try our hardest to keep our own area clear. We sweep the front out, our dog goes to the toilet in the garden, it's picked up so we don't upset our neighbours. And it's just, it just ruined our lives. After rebaiting and resetting the traps, Pete can call it a day. He'll be back tomorrow to check the traps yet again. Since we filmed, in Dagenham, the score was 45 dead rats to nil and Pete is determined there's going to be no replay.